All right, so do people want to come over here and we'll finish the uh, filling here? Side. So, uh, salt. Can you find it? And the perejil. Yes. Do you sometimes use kosher salt and cooking? You know, I see it listed a lot, and I don't. I uh, mean, I don't know why. Just it's cost a habit. Like, I don't know why I don't. Because I was reading recently that you use either more or less. I forget you don't use as much. I think you use less. Okay, everybody, over here now for a moment. <laughs> so in here, it's got a little covered up, is the eggplant. And I have to tell you something, a little, I won't go so far as to say an error, but um, we should have used probably, it's two pounds of eggplant, and I think there's slightly less eggplant that we used today for the actual, all of this amount of filling, just so you know. So, but I'll have that in the recipe. So make sure you measure out two pounds of eggplant, which is probably three eggplants, not two. Two pounds once it's cooked or before you cook it? No, before you cook okay. it, right? Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to have extra filling. So this has currants, mm -hmm. pine nuts, the um, eggplant filling, tomato. Mm -hmm. We're going to let this cook and then we're going to fill the eggplant <laughs> shells. I walked over and I thought there was brown beef and I went, oh. <laughs> uh, no. oh my god, what you doing? Uh, oh. So, yeah, it's really, really yummy. The other thing I love to eat all the time is just tahini. Have you all made, prepared tahini? Yeah. No, so, not really. No. I'll show you how to do that because I think it's wonderful to serve this with some mint tahini dribbled on top, like a sauce, okay? Oh, God. Which again, is this is totally vegan dish, no dairy whatsoever. Because the couscous also, I'm just going to have had some fresh dill. So the couscous because dill is also so popular in Turkey. So we'll just let this cook a few more minutes. What's the name of that rudder? This? Mm -hmm. Imam Bayildi. Bayildi. I'll write it down. Uh, sorry. Um, it looks beautiful, huh? And as I said, this is probably like the most famous eggplant dish in the Middle East of the Arab world. Oh. Very healthy as well for Mauricio. <laughs> now, the other thing we're going to do is we're just going to mix a little bit of tomato juice with lemon juice or lime juice mm -hmm. and a pinch of salt for a little sauce. So we're going to fill our eggplants and then just pour that sauce over the eggplants and then we'll put the oven covered for 30 minutes and then we take off the cover for 10 more wow. at, at 180. So um, we'll let this... And the spinach? It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> not... That's what I'm doing. And you, and you fill the shells. <laughs> with the eggplants. And I have one already done cold, and like I said, often in the Middle East they eat it cold or, or room temp, so you can taste a little bit today both, because these probably won't get totally cooled off. Maybe, maybe a little That's bit. That's nice that you can do both more. Mm -hmm. So you were saying that mm -hmm. really this recipe needs a little more eggplant? It, 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 to like another eggplant, two more halves, uh -huh. so that there'd be more eggplant yeah. pulp in here. Okay. Yeah, so no mucho. Es que these, these eggplants are so small. I don't know if I But I... But it's good to, to eat them. It's better to that size, no? Because too big. Yeah, exactly. Per person, mm -hmm. this is probably... For and presentation yes, as well. Yes, and presentation. And when you have a, a very big thing in your plate, you... Overeat. Yeah. <laughs> well, some people don't make it again. It's just like I said, tomato juice, lime juice, and a pinch of sugar, which I'll give you the exact amounts, right? You can use stevia too if you don't want to use sugar. And then you just buy uh, that here. You can buy like a bad quality stevia at uh, Bio Salud. I ordered online because I use it so much. I don't use sugar almost. 
except in desserts. So you just pour this all over, and then we're going to cover it and bake it. And that has to taste good. <laughs> yeah, and then you have to So yeah, officially now we'll take a 10 minute break. Yeah. So there's a new tahini that's in the cover behind Sadhananda. If you could get it out. And then, stay at the table, bring this over. I put our eggplants right here. I put our eggplants over the couscous. And then I'm just going to pour the tahini all over the couscous and garnish it a little bit more. Yeah, wait, there's, I don't have enough little pieces, but anyway, you get the idea. So that's your priest fainted dish. <laughs> <laughs>